Hey, 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 Mr. Manly here with the Halloween edition of How to Be Manly. Everyone has their favorite holiday, but mine is Halloween. Going all out this year and having a party. All my guests will come dressed as their favorite childhood cartoon character. I know you're anxiously awaiting the character I've chosen. Well, since I love Halloween, I'm dressing up as Linus from the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I always admired him at his age. I still sucked his thumb and carried around his blanket to keep him safe. Not that I was ever like that. At that age, I was more like Schroeder, not sucking my thumb, rather playing my piano and getting my blanket damp on a regular basis. Yet I digress. I'm having the house set up with cobwebs, creaking sounds, scary songs, and it's only going to be lit by candles. Kind of takes you back to a combination of the TV shows The Munsters and The Addams Family. Only thing I'm missing from this decor is the great pumpkin. So with great anticipation, like Linus, off to the pumpkin patch I go. When I arrived, a cute woman approached me who had two nice sets of pumpkins on her, with the second one being her posterior. She said, hello, I'm Tabitha. May I show you my pumpkins? Suddenly, just like Linus in the pumpkin patch, I felt something rising. Thought I should express those feelings, but do so in a manly manner. If you ever find yourself in a similar situation, follow along in your manly manual, page 1031, and repeat after me. Number one, sure, I'd like to see your pumpkins, and later on tonight, your patch. Number two, hey, 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 look at this monster. Who wants to give this monster a mash? Number three, shoo-wee Tabitha, let's turn out the lights, and I'll show you a thriller. Shortly after, as Tabitha takes the thrill out of you, when she mashes up your monster and places you in the pumpkin patch, you'll realize just what kind of man you really are. Until next time, this is Mr. Manly saying be manly and good day. Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. A truck carrying pumpkins caught fire on a California freeway. You know we're at peak fall when we even have pumpkin spice accidents. Experts say the southern accent is disappearing, which explains why Larry the Cable Guy's new catchphrase is, please complete your given task. The inaugural Florida Man Games will take place in February. Top finishers will receive medals, bronze for third place, silver for second, and meth for first. Prospector ruins everything, even the news. Tune in Monday for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Please be advised that the football predictions in Terra's takes are as reliable as a squirrel with a crystal ball. They may lead to uncontrollable fits of laughter, head-scratching confusion, or, in rare cases, inexplicable outbreaks of interpretive dance. Remember, trusting Terra's takes with your football betting decisions is akin to asking a goldfish for stock market advice. In other words, proceed at your own risk. Rock 107 hereby absolves ourselves from any responsibility for lost bets, puzzled looks, or unexpected dance-off injuries that may result from heeding Terra's football wisdom. Enjoy, and may the football gods have mercy on your wagers. My wife Tara on the line. Time for her football picks. It's Tara's takes. Uh, how you feeling, Tara? Pretty good? Pretty good, yep. Let's see how we do here. Uh, pick number one, Jacksonville at Pittsburgh. What is the name of Jacksonville's team? Jaguars. Yeah, see, you know more than you think you know about football. Who are you taking between the Jaguars and the Steelers? Steelers. Taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that's probably a good pick, but we shall see. Uh, game number two, Philadelphia at Washington. And uh, my wife, Tara, who knows nothing about football, is picking. Who are you taking? Philadelphia. All right, I like that pick as well. The third game, first time this year, you have to pick the Los Angeles Rams at the Dallas Cowboys. And you can pick whoever you want to pick. I'm not going to be hurt. Uh, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you wanted to pick Dallas, but you were trying to spare my feelings. Right, probably, yeah. Well, then pick who you want to pick. Your, your picks are on the line. I don't know, because I think I've heard that the Cowboys have won a few games. They have won a few games. Um, 
I ain't going with the Cowboys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. You can take the Cowboys. Fine. I'm not going to be rooting for them. I got you. I understand. New York Giants at the New York Jets. The battle for supremacy of New York City because, you know, Buffalo Bills are a better team than both of these guys. Who are you taking? Giants. Taking the Giants. All right, so we're going to go over the picks again. You're taking the Steelers. You're taking the Eagles. You're taking the Cowboys over my beloved Rams and the Giants over the Jets. Yes. And what do you know about football again? Nothing. <laughs> Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A single mom in Tennessee wanted to do something special for her son's eighth birthday this month, but didn't have a ton of money. So she posted something on Facebook about how he loves cars, and her community came through. People organized a huge car parade and brought over 80 souped-up rides for it. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. The following rant may cause you to pull your hair out, scream at the radio, punch the dashboard. Complaints should be addressed to Loudmouth Yambag at rock107.com. Hey, I'm Rock 107's Prospector, and here's what's got me jacked. Halloween is coming up, and I've noticed a lot more consternation regarding costumes at schools for the kids. Back in my day, and yes, I'm that old, I just said back in my day. But yeah, back in my day, you got a costume, you put it on, you wore it to school for the Halloween parade. Not now, no. You may bring a character outfit and possibly be allowed to wear it during the dress-up activity, but you better make damn sure that the costume doesn't have any kind of pretend weapon. Yeah, pretend weapons, they're banned. That's how messed up our society is now. Kids are prohibited from bringing toy weapons to school on Halloween. Are you kidding me? If that's not enough, one school in upstate New York prevents any child from dressing as a character of the opposite sex. So good luck finding a Halloween costume that your kid can wear to school. My nephew can't go to school as a cop because, well, the fake gun and the toy billy cub are fake weapons. And he can't bring them. Soldier? Hey, hey, they got guns too. All right, how about a fireman? Well, the axe is a weapon. Really? Okay, so maybe some Star Wars characters. Oh, wait, better leave that lightsaber at home. You can't even go as a Ghostbuster because the proton pack is considered a weapon. It's a toy replica of a fake made-up tool to fight imaginary beings. How is that a weapon? But this ultra-scared PC bunk doesn't stop there. Here's a brief list of costumes that many schools across this fading republic have recently banned. Batman, Superman, Wolverine, any of the Fantastic Four. Power Rangers, Cowboys, Indians, even sombreros were banned at a school recently. Hey, there goes my Mexican Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume. I think it's screwed up. It's Halloween. Let's pretend. It's make-believe. Let's learn to discern between make-believe and real here. I'm Prospector. I'm for the people. Who's with me? I gotta, 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 gotta go crazy, man! Ever see the crazy guy screaming at the wall outside the Times building? Where does this rage come from, my son? Tweet us with hashtag I found Prospector and we'll come and get him. Prospector. Mornings on Rock 107. Kids, call your neighbors and gather around the radio. It's now time to announce the winner of Prospector's Jam Bag of the Week, as decided by you at rock107.com. We uncover the most baffling, ridiculous, pathetic, cockeyed, laughable, preposterous blunders in the world of misdeeds. Nominee number one. This diversionary tactic had no chance. Last week, police in Florida were looking for a 41-year-old man named Johnny Yates, to arrest him for aggravated battery. They got a tip that he was at a residence, so they went there and they saw a whiteboard which had a message written in marker that read, Johnny Yates does not live here. As convincing as that sounds, that didn't dissuade the police. A person was seen leaving the home. The cops asked if they knew where Johnny was. That person said, yeah, he's inside with some other people. The police yelled for Johnny to come out, but he didn't. So they tried smoking him out before finally bringing in the canines. The dog sniffed Johnny out, and he was found hiding in a modified chest of drawers. Johnny was arrested along with the four other people at the house who did not cooperate with authorities. Nominee number two. Hey, leave this stuff for the stadium, okay? 
A heated argument during a Dallas Cowboy Monday Night Football game took a gruesome turn. Last week, two men in their 50s, neighbors, found themselves in a battle of gridiron gallantry that escalated faster than a stampede at high noon. The dispute ignited over the noise during a Cowboys heart-stopping 20-17 victory over the L.A. Chargers. Apparently, these die-hard fans couldn't agree on the appropriate decibel level for supporting America's team. Police said the two men fought pulled out knives, then both stabbed each other multiple times. Both men were taken to the hospital and are both expected to recover from their injury. Nominee number three. It's amazing something this dumb could actually work. A 22-year-old guy in Poland is facing charges for stealing stuff from several stores in a shopping mall after the place closed. So how'd he get in? He went while the mall was still open, got into a clothing store's window display, and pretended he was a mannequin. Then when everyone left... He got out and started doing what he did. There's security camera footage of him standing in the window holding a shopping bag. He doesn't look like other mannequins, but no one noticed. Once everyone was gone, he stopped posing, stole a bunch of stuff from a jewelry stand, and left. And he might have gotten away with it if he'd stopped there. But apparently, he tried it a second time on a different day. And again, no one noticed at first. That time, he went to a restaurant in the mall and had a meal, then got into a clothing store, put on a new outfit, Security spotted him when he went back to the restaurant to eat again. He's facing up to 10 years in prison. Nominee number four. This guy's chances at Father of the Year just took a huge hit. A 30-year-old dad named Colby Parker called the cops Monday night because he thought his child had been kidnapped. He said he left him in the car when he ran into a grocery store. When he got back, they were gone. Well, cops immediately started searching. They brought in canine teams coordinated with other police departments in the area. They also started looking through the store security footage, and that's when they realized the reason Colby couldn't find them in the car was because he'd forgotten his kids at home. Cops went to his house an hour after he reported his child missing and found the kid there all alone, but fine. Colby isn't fine, though. They breathalyzed him and found out he'd been drinking. He'd actually driven to the same grocery store twice that day. His kid was with them the first time, but not the second, so that's what tripped him up. They called a family member to pick up the child. Colby was arrested for drunk driving, child endangerment, and breach of the peace. And the winner is... The two men who stabbed each other during an argument over Monday Night Football. You two are the Yam Bags of the Week. Keep it here Monday morning for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts Podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.